The workday expression is in the category time and has a result of a date data type. The purpose of this expression is to find a future date, excluding non-workdays. The workday expression has two mandatory parameters and one optional parameter. The first is a date that you are using on your baseline. Next is the offset, which is how many workdays you want to count either forwards or backwards. Third is an optional list of additional dates that you want to exclude. The result is the workday that has been offset from the original date after excluding all holidays. This can be confusing, so let's look at an example. Here we can see the workday expression, and I have included all three parameters. The first is today. This means that we're going to dynamically assign our date based on the current day when the expression is run. If it were to be run today, it would return January 13th, 2021. Next is five. This means I want to count five workdays into the future. I do specify workdays, which means it will skip the weekends. Next, we have a list of optional dates we want excluded, and I have excluded the 14th of January just to show how this works. If we look at this calendar, we can see it's currently the 13th, so that answers what our baseline date is. Next, we need to count five days into the future. One, two, three, four, five. This would give us the 20th. However, we've actually excluded the 14th as an option. Because of this, instead of counting the 14th, we skip it. So in instead, we go one, skip the weekends, two, three, four, five, and return the 21st. If we excluded this optional parameter and ran the expression like so, it would now return the 20th. Alternatively, if we did a negative, it would count backwards. One, two, skip the weekends, three, four, five, and return the sixth. I hope that this was helpful. If you would like to learn more, we invite you to check out appsheetraining.com.